guys. So I want to go over briefly um, my, I guess, HTPC or small Android box. Um, this particular unit I got on Amazon. Um, it's not sold anymore, uh, at least according to what I just checked recently. But there's tons like it. I'll link some in the video description down below. Now, I spent hours looking on YouTube, on Google, everywhere to try to find a unit that outputs at HDMI 2.0, 4K, 60 frames a second, and I couldn't really find much. A lot of units that I was seeing, uh, the, the unit itself didn't have an HDMI 2.0 port. So anything at 4K was only going to be outputted at 30 frames per second. And on top of that, most of the units didn't seem that powerful. So, it's, so it was a matter of finding one that has at least 2 gigs of RAM, finding one that has at least gig Ethernet, and then finding one that at least operates on a quad uh, CPU. So if you look here, I'll open up Kodi, which it comes pre-installed with Kodi. Right, I'll go to my files here. Now, mind you, this is all being recorded at 4K right now, which you guys are seeing. This is on a 55 inch LG smart uh, TV. So, we got some 4K stuff here. Just make sure this is muted. So these are the current um, 4K movies I do have. So if we go here, go to here, let's start from the beginning. So one thing I want you to notice is just like the clarity, how how fluid it, it plays 4K files, you know, with no lag, no stutter which was important to me because 4k files are extremely big you're looking anywhere from 30 to 60 gigs just for one file that's been i guess ripped correctly and you can see here it's just it's going flawlessly right so now we can skip up skip forward a little bit So, I mean, you can see no lag. Now, do not make the same mistake I did, and that was this. I bought the unit, I connected it, and I noticed that stuff still was not um, operating at the correct, uh, I guess, frequencies. So, make sure you get a 4K HDMI cable, which is what I got here. So I really don't want to go too much into depth on the unit itself other than just to give some, I guess, I guess info on, you know, the unit and is it capable of doing 4K? Yes. Is it capable of doing a few other things? Obviously, you know, yeah, I mean, the unit has a few other features. So go here. So, I mean, it's got apps. It's got web. I don't use this stuff. I just use it solely for Kodi. Now the unit itself, uh, which is right here, it's a little dusty. Um, it's got four USB ports. It's got a micro SD card reader. It has optical. It's got a DC power. It's got your HDMI. And it's got, uh, well, it's got the power cable. I just, just hit that. And it's got your uh, gig Ethernet. And in addition to that, it does have Wi Fi. So you can see it's running the M Logic C4 bit quad core A53 S905 chip. So a lot of these Unix are, are units are, uh, you know, mass produced in China, Taiwan, overseas, and then um, they're, they're shipped to the to US. Um, I'm finding now that some are even starting to get made in the US. So just note that. Uh, you know when you're looking for one I do have a few others that I'm looking at because I'm thinking about getting a, a few other and placing them around different areas so For now, I'm happy with this if you look at my older videos You'll see that I do have a pine 64 running remix OS that has Cody stacked on top of it 
and that runs fine for anything I guess 720p 1080p related stuff with 4k it just doesn't have that that extra horsepower to really output you know that kind of file so that's the reason why I spent so much time looking and investing in this this unit itself when I bought it it was sixty dollars which at the time I thought was pretty cheap compared to a lot of the other ones that I was seeing and there's tons like I said tons scattered on eBay uh, and Amazon so I think this one is probably your best bet um, like I said it's discontinued but I will link a similar one down below so if you guys are interested in getting it or whatever um, just know that you know this one does come with a controller which seems to work pretty well uh, most of them do come with controllers to be honest so just note that but yeah um, I hope this helps someone out because you know I, I spent enough time looking and you know figuring out which one I wanted to get so you know kind of saving some people time so yep yeah, that's it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next one take care <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>